Hello everyone. In today's video we will be replacing the entire braking system on this 73 Dart Sport. Got a mountain of parts on the back of my truck here and uh, I've already done one thing. Let's, uh, let's take a look at everything. Alright, the one thing I have already done is uh, replace the master cylinder. I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way so I didn't have to worry about it. Everything came off easy. It matched up perfectly. And uh, as I've said before, I am saving all of the hydraulic hardware that I am pulling off of this car. Because I do believe it is original to this car and it's still functioning. I'm just replacing it out of safety. And I, I can always rebuild it down the line. So uh, any hydraulic hardware like the master cylinder, calipers, and wheel cylinders, all those I am saving. The only thing I am not replacing today is the booster because it's still working and the hard lines. If the hard lines give me any issues down the road, I will be replacing all of them. But right now, they, um, they're they looking to be okay, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. But got a bunch of parts on the back of the truck. Let's take a look at them. Okay, here we have the rotors. Got both rotors, both calipers. Calipers came in from uh, eBay because it was cheaper and one of them's coated, one of them's not. It's, not really gonna matter I just think both of them might be coated I'm not sure that one might not be but I got the hoses got bearing seals hardware kits pads and for the rear got some WD-40 just in case I need it to help take the stuff off and my keys I got uh, both drums they are different from what was from what's on there but I've already checked them and they are fine these have these are a little bit larger in diameter on the outside right here and they have fins the factory ones on this car does not when i got these i was worried that they wouldn't work but i i slipped them on and they worked perfectly so i got i guess you call it upgraded drums so there's the drums people speeding in my neighborhood hope they get pulled over Got wheel cylinders, hardware, and yes, they're going to get them. Go get them. Anyway, back to this. Got the wheel cylinders, got the uh, pads, or, uh, not pads, got the shoes, got all the other hardware I need for the back. So uh, got the front jacked up on jack stands, so let's let's get to it. I'm having problems getting this caliper on I think what it is is a uh, the brand new thickness of the rotor the brand new pads are causing it to be too tight so what I'm gonna do is go to my bench grinder and shave down a little bit on this pad because I don't want to fight searching for a bunch of different pads that might or might not work and this uh, back pad is, act is actually thicker, so I can take off a little bit of material and still be okay. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use this one as, as a reference and then uh, go to my bench grinder and uh, try to grind down as even as possible getting that, uh, getting this material off. So uh, I will do that and go ahead and do both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and do both sides 
both back pads so I don't have any trouble on the other side so I will be back all right I got both the pads ground down using these bolts I'm actually going to use the factory bolts I'd feel better about that I got the front brakes done and uh, got my sister her family and my mom outside enjoying the uh, nice beautiful Saturday and uh, saw something at the corner of our house and uh, wanted to uh, my mom was over at the tree we switch it around mom was over at it's my niece right there with her uh, telescope uh, my mom was standing over next to there over there next to our Japanese flowering cherry and saw something in our cubby over here in the corner This is a mole. If you've never seen what a mole looks like, this is a mole. Let's see if I can pick it up. We got these little jokers everywhere. And it will be it will be relocated. As much as I want to uh, dispose of this thing, it will be relocated. It will continue to live. But back to the car. All right, here going to the back brakes. I want to show you the differences between the two drums. I did check them when I got them, and they and they fit up perfectly. Though I did, didn't have any issues with anything hitting. So uh, looks like it's. I'll just I'll just call this an upgrade. It's. I uh, imagine would help with cooling, but. They're gonna go on, these are gonna come off, and uh, let's get to it.
latest the next day I had some issues after I finished the back brakes and uh, when I started bleeding the brakes the left side wheel cylinder just blew out so um, I tried to find the rebuild kits for the ones that I took off but the ones I took off are designed a little bit differently on the rubber caps that go on and so having a groove there they actually have a metal band that makes it that uh, keeps it tight on there and uh, the rebuild kits I could get local had the ones that go into the groove so uh, I couldn't get it it wasn't gonna work so I just got another wheel cylinder for the left side and put it on and was able to bleed that side and uh, I tested it in the driveway and then drove it drove it up and down my street a couple of times and it, it, it was acting good and uh, one, another thing I did off camera was replace the rear uh, brake hose. I did that before I t did the rear brakes. Uh, it was up, up under the car. It would, would have been difficult to film, so I, so I just didn't worry about it. But uh, the only thing that's old on the brake system now is the booster and the hard lines. Which, once again, if I, if I start to have issues with either one, I can change it very easily. The booster on this thing is actually really easy to change. Um, let me let me go ahead and show that to you. The booster, the nuts are on the back side right here. Very easy to access, and the pivot right there is where. Uh, take off the clip and just pull out the pin and then the booster would come off so the booster is actually very easy to change on this car well there it is the brake job is done on this car uh, most likely going to be uh, bleeding the brakes again down the line just to be sure the brakes are feeling okay but I uh, probably I want to bleed them again just to make sure I got all the air out but uh, there it is if you like the video like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one